Hello, Mustangs and new friends. Mrs. Belcher here with another special story and my snuggly friend, Tyrannothosaurus Rex. Today, we are sharing my favorite bedtime story when I was a little girl. I'm so excited. Did you know that you can read bedtime stories anytime? It doesn't have to just be at bedtime. Tyrannosaurus Rex and I are in our PJs and ready to curl up with a good book. And we have a special guest with us today who is also in pajamas and ready to listen to a bedtime story. This is my friend Bosco. And he's joining us today in his PJs. So our story today is called Mother, Mother, I Want Another. And this story is about a baby mouse who isn't very happy at bedtime and wants another mother. Mother Mouse tries very hard to find him another mother. Let's read and find out what happens. But first, we need to think about something. Since this is a bedtime story, I wonder how my voice should sound while I'm reading it to you. I wonder if I should read it in a really loud voice or if I should read it in a soft, gentle voice. What do you guys think? What do you think, Tyrannosaurus Rex? I think he's right. He said I should probably read it in a soft, gentle voice. So let's do that now, okay? So our story today is called Mother, Mother, I Want Another. And the author is Maria Polushkin. I don't know if I said that right. And the author, remember, is the person who writes the words, who writes down the story. The illustrator is Diane Dawson. And if you remember from our last video, the illustrator is the person who draws the picture. So let's read. Mother, mother, I want another. It was bedtime in the mouse house. Mrs. Mouse took Baby Mouse to his room. She helped him put on his pajamas, just like us, and told him to brush his teeth. Brushing your teeth is always an important thing to do at bedtime. She tucked him into his bed and read him a bedtime story. She gave him a bedtime kiss and then she said, Good night. But as she was leaving, Baby Mouse started to cry. Why are you crying? asked Mother Mouse. I want another mother. Another mother, cried Mrs. Mouse. Where will I find another mother for my baby? Do you want to get down, but friend? Mrs. Mouse ran to get Mrs. Duck. Please, Mrs. Duck, come to our house and help put Baby Mouse to bed. Tonight, he wants another mother. Oh, Mrs. Duck came and sang a song. Quack, quack, mousey, don't you fret. I'll bring you worms both fat and wet. But Baby Mouse said, Mother, Mother, I want another. Oh dear. Mrs. Duck went to get Mrs. Frog. Mrs. Frog came and sang, Croak, croak, mousey, close your eyes. I will bring you big fat flies. <laughs> but Baby Mouse said, Mother, mother, I want another. Oh dear, I don't know what Mother Mouse is going to do. Do you? Let's keep reading. Mrs. Frog 
went to get Mrs. Pig. Oh, I wonder if she can help. Mrs. Pig came and sang a song. Oink, oink, mousy, go to sleep. I'll bring some carrots for you to keep. But Baby Mouse said, Mother, mother, I want another. Whew, this is getting to be quite a problem. Mrs. Pig went to get Mrs. Donkey. Mrs. Donkey came and sang a song. Hee-haw, mousy, hush a -bye. I'll sing for you a lullaby. Look at him holding his ears. <laughs> but Baby Mouse had had enough. No more mothers, he shouted. I want another kiss. Oh my gosh, Mustangs and a new friends. What a surprise. I thought he wanted another mother too. <laughs> Look at all the mothers. Really? Well now. Oh, indeed. I see. Mrs. Duck kissed Baby Mouse. Mrs. Frog kissed Baby Mouse. Mrs. Pig kissed Baby Mouse. And Mrs. Donkey kissed Baby Mouse. Then Mrs. Mouse gave Baby Mouse a drink of water. She tucked him in his blanket and she gave him a kiss. Baby Mouse smiled May I have another, mother? Of course, said Mrs. Mouse, and she leaned over and gave him another kiss. We hope that all of our friends are doing well, and we wish we could be back at school teaching everyone about synonyms and antonyms again. But for now, we're at home. So that's all for now, friends. Join us next time when Tyrannosaurus Rex and I will be reading an exciting story about a monster terrorizing a town, Dogzilla. This is one of Tyrannosaurus Rex's favorites. He's really, really excited and hopes you guys are too. See you next time.